The Namibia Youth Credit Scheme provides startup loans to unemployed young people between the ages of 18 and 35. But with ever-changing economic conditions and the rising cost of doing business, loan amounts are no longer enough to ensure businesses stay afloat. With Namibia's economy tightly squeezed and youth unemployment on the rise, the youth ministry is now reviewing the scheme to make it more responsive to entrepreneurial needs. The scheme is a commonwealth product and when it was initiated it's called a social welfare. But and, and when you look at the grant, I mean sorry, when you look at the loan, it starts from a 2000. What is it that you can do today with the 2000? If we really want entrepreneurship to be one of the key driver to reduce the youth unemployment. That's why we are going to do the review because with that, within that process, we are going to interview the multi-stakeholders who are involved. So that will assist us to come up with a figure. In 2018, the Namibia Youth Credit Scheme dispersed loans to about 218 youth enterprises across the country spending 1.8 million Namibia dollars. This despite the ministry's budget cut of almost 300 million Namibia dollars in the same financial year. The ministry is also reviewing other youth empowerment programs to make them more results oriented. As the ministry responsible for youth empowerment, we also deal with the issues of youth and health. So we have our multi-purpose resource centers that acts as a safe spaces. We have health clinics that really provides youth that safe space to access, be it family planning, you know, sexual health, reproductive education. So that's also one key area. I mean, you look at the teenage pregnancy, the figure speaks for itself. So we want to see, is our offering assisting the youth with all these components that's very key to empower the youth? The review exercise is expected to be completed by end. Don't take two, sorry. The review exercise is expected to be completed by end of November. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.